Hey guys, this video is going to go over equivalent rates, so please take notes in your note packet. Just a quick reminder that a rate is a ratio, but it has to be two different quantities. So I might say um, 20 miles per gallon in one gallon. That's a rate. It has two different units of measurement. So we're going to be talking about equivalent rates today. All right, so the definition of an equivalent rate are two rates that might be expressed using different units. Equivalent, another word for equivalent, is equal. So basically, they are two equal rates, but they're just expressed in a different way, kind of like equal fractions, except this one is different units. So here's an example. I might say um, something uses one gallon in one second, and I want to know, is that equivalent or equal to 60 gallons in one minute? All right, so to figure that out, first thing I need to kind of look at is I see, well, they both are talking about gallons, so that's good. But this one is talking about seconds, and this one is talking about minutes, so I don't want that. So I'm going to see if I can easily rewrite one of them so it's the same um, unit of measurement. If I take a look at minutes and seconds, I can easily change minutes. A minute, I know, is 60 seconds. So if I can, I can just cross that off and say, well, one minute, that's exactly the same as 60 seconds. All right, now if I look at this, I'm doing gallons and gallons and seconds and seconds. So let's see if these are equal. Now there's a couple different ways you can test. First way, I can kind of look right here and kind of think, well, from 1 to 60, that's times 60. So is that the same on the top? From 1 to 60, that's also times 60. I was multiplying by the same thing, so I know that these two rates are equal. All right, now I could have went up and down. I'll show you another way. So from 1 to 1, that's divided by 1, or times 1, same thing here, that's divided by 1. And then the third way we learned to test was if we look at the diagonals. When we have um, a proportion or equal ratios, I can look at the diagonals, they should be equal. If I do this, 1 times 60 is 60. Same thing here, 1 times 60 is also 60. Now, again, this works because I have the same label. I have gallons and seconds, gallons and seconds. I couldn't do that unless I did. So these two rates are equal. One gallon in one second, that's the same as 60 gallons in 60 seconds. All right, if I take a look at this one, I have two rates, and I want to know, are these equivalent or are they equal? So that's why I put this question mark here. So if I take a look at them, I notice, well, they both are talking about inches, inches and inches, that's good. But this one has hours and this one has minutes, so I have to change one of these. Now, it doesn't matter which one. I can change this to minutes, or I can change this one to hours. You can choose. So I'm going to go ahead and just change an hour. I'm going to change that. That's the same as saying 60 minutes. Again, I didn't really change it. It's the exact same thing. I just said an hour, same as 60 minutes. Now, I want to test, are these equal? Well, I'm going to think, well, from 60 minutes to 120 minutes, that's double times 2. So the inches should be double, too. So 12 times 2, that's 24 so these two rates are equivalent. So yes, they are equivalent. All right, let's take a look at this one. And we want to know, are these two rates equivalent? So first thing I notice, let's look at the, uh, the time. I, ooh, I have hours, I have minutes. So again, I want to change that. This time, I'm going to change the second one. 120 minutes. I know 120 minutes, that's two hours. Okay, that's something you guys should know, two hours. So I'm just going to cross that off and write that. So now I notice, well, I have hours and hours. Awesome. All right, but up here I have inches and feet. So I'm going to kind of think in my head, what do I know about inches and feet? Well, I know there are 12 inches and one foot. I'm just going to come write that down on the side. So I need to either change this to inches or I need to change this one to feet. So I need to change one of them. It doesn't really matter which one. So here's, I'm going to change the first one. I'm going to change 36 feet. I'm going to change that to inches. So if I'm not sure how to do that, I can come down here and set up a proportion. I know there's 12 inches in a foot, but I have 36 feet. I want to know how many inches that is. I'll put an X here. Okay, now you guys know how to solve these. You can cross multiply. You can go across. I'll just go across. From 1 to 36, it's times 36. So I'm going to do 12 times 36, and I'm typing that in on my calculator. And that's 432. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and say, well, 36 feet, that is the same as 432 inches. I solved that over there. 
All right, so now to test to see if these are equal, I'm gonna kind of look here from one hour to two hours, that's double. So up here, this should also be double. Well, 432 and 432, it's not double. So these two rates are not equal. These are not equivalent. All right, let's try one more. So this one says 48 bounce, uh, bounces, ounces in one box and is that equal to three pounds in a box? So again, first thing you wanna kind of remember um, is to look for your labels. Well, I'm comparing boxes to boxes, that's good. But this one's ounces, this is pounds. So I'm gonna think, what do I know about ounces and pounds? Well, I know there are 16 ounces in one pound. All right, so I have to change one of these to either pounds or ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead to the pounds. I'm gonna change that to ounces. So three pounds. Um, I know in one pound there's 16 ounces, so in three pounds, I'm gonna have to triple that, so I'm gonna times three, so 16 times three, if you're not sure, you can type it in, is 48. So three pounds, that's the same as 48 ounces. All right, so now to test this out, I'm just gonna kinda of look, well, from one to one, it's times one, 48 times one is also 48. These are equal, they actually say the exact same thing. 48 ounces in one box, 48 ounces in one box. So these rates are equivalent. All right, so now we have a problem and I'm gonna see if we can write an equivalent rate to this. So here's what it gives me. I know that somebody traveled maybe 20 feet, 21 feet and 10 minutes. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna ask you is, well, what if I didn't want minutes? I wanted seconds. Okay, so I wanna know, let's say I'm gonna ask you, how many feet did he travel in one second? That's what I'm curious about. All right, now my first issue is, this is minutes, this is seconds. I can't just convert that. I need to figure out, well, how many seconds are in 10 minutes? All right, now if you're not sure and you can't figure that out in your head, you're gonna have to say, well, I know, I know there are 60 seconds in one minute, but I have 10 minutes. So I wanna know, well, how many seconds is that? Well, I'm gonna times by 10 times by 10, which gives me 600. So 10 minutes, that's the same as 600 seconds. So I'm gonna cross that off and write 600 seconds. All right, now my goal is to figure out, well, I wanna know how many feet he goes in just one second, so I'll put an X here. So again, you can cross multiply and divide, you can solve this a lot of different ways, but I'm gonna go across from 600 to one, that's divided by 600, so I'm gonna do 21 divided by 600. So if I type that in, I end up with 0 0.035 feet in one second. All right, so again, I know I, how many feet it is per second. Now I'm gonna ask you to do something else to that. All right, let's try one more. It says, my turtle can crawl 24 inches in 120 seconds. That's the first thing I'm gonna write down. 24 inches in 120 seconds. All right, so my question here is how many feet can it crawl in four minutes? So I've got to kind of change a bunch of things. Well, I'm going to start by just changing um, the, it to minutes. All right, so 120 seconds. I want that to be in minutes. So I want to know how many minutes that is. So 120 seconds, I know there's 60 seconds in a minute. So I know this happens to be two minutes. All right, I don't want to know how many... Um, inches he'll crawl in two minutes, I want that to be four minutes. So my first thing I'm gonna do is set up a proportion and figure out, well, how many inches does he go in four minutes? Well, to figure that out, that's a double. So I'm gonna double my inches. T 24 times two, that's 48. All right, so right now I have that he went 48 inches in four minutes. Now, just as a refresher, we don't wanna figure that out. We wanna know how many um, feet Okay, so feet, I don't know, I crossed it off. It can crawl in four minutes. So we want to change this inches to feet. So first thing I'm gonna kind of figure out, well, how many inches are in a foot? Well, there are 12 inches in one foot. Okay, but I have 48 inches. I wanna know how many feet that is. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So you can cross multiply and divide, or I know, well, 12 into 48, if I kind of do that, divide that out, that's times four. So times four here, would be four feet. So 48 inches, that is the same as four feet. So my final answer, how far this uh, turtle crawled, he crawled four feet in four minutes.